Watch tonight. We all know music can soothe, but it can also do much more. CBS 2 Dr. Mac Gomez, uh, Max Gomez, explains how music is helping stroke patients literally regain function. Stroke survivor Janet Johnson says she wasn't seeing results after years of traditional hand therapy. I couldn't write very well. I couldn't type. And I was a super fast typist before. Johnson heard about a study at the University of California, Irvine, testing a device called the Music Glove. It's a musical game where you have notes coming at you, demanding you to keep moving every few seconds. The FDA-approved glove has sensors that track a user's hand movements, mimicking pincer and pinch grips, movements that are key to regaining function in the hand after a stroke. You want to practice doing the things that are like the things that you want to be able to do in your daily life. Researchers found patients using the glove made more progress than those using traditional stroke exercises, gaining 20 to 30 percent more motor function. You can only, um, you know, move a bean from left to right so many times. If they're not driven and they're not motivated, then they probably won't follow through and they won't change. Users reported regaining the ability to open doors, wash dishes, and use silverware. Johnson says she was even typing again two weeks after testing the glove. It's not tedious, it's not boring, it's a lot of fun. And she's now using her hand more than she ever thought possible. While the music glove is attached to the hand, it's actually helping to rewire the brain. Repetition forces the undamaged parts of the brain to take over for the cells that were lost as a result of the stroke. Music is what makes a repetition fun, so the patient keeps doing it. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.